Good morning, everyone. February 1st, 2024. It's the start of a new month. A wild day yesterday. FOMC came out at 2 o'clock. Jay Powell basically said uh, we're not uh, looking at dropping interest rates next time around in March, kind of pushing things off. We know this is going to happen this year, uh, but uh, the fact that they are pushing it off another month, soften up the market a little bit. The market's absorbing that as the news comes in because you know once those interest rates come down and money gets cheap again market's going to run wild so it seems to me in my opinion that the fed is going to time this perfectly for the election and they are pushing it off a little bit because the market came out so strong this year that there's no reason to let it explode now it's better off to let it kind of flatten out now however i don't think this little dip that we caught yesterday is going to be long lasted by any means it really wasn't that big of a dip really wasn't that strong and today we've got some big earnings coming out meta apple uh, and amazon all three of which have a large amount of loaded up calls um, unusual options activity uh, that i uh, saw that these big orders have been placed betting and these are short-term options that have been placed big bets multi-million dollar huge thousand um, contract call trades that are being put against these earnings calls that are coming after hours today so it is safe to say that amazon most likely had a very good q4 um, and meta with uh, ai and a lot of things going on uh, it appears that everything is very positive. We'll see how the market reacts to that today. It will most likely dip a little bit off the open as it you know, dipped significantly into the close. I do expect a continued pullback today. However, I do think that in the afternoon, the market will start to rally back. And I do think that these stocks, Amazon, Meta, and Apple are going to do well on earnings. I anticipate good guidance. I anticipate uh, beats on their earnings uh, per share. That is my opinion. We will watch the day as it progresses today and see kind of what happens and how the day pans itself out. But that at initial glance right now, pre-markets, nine o'clock, seeing where things are going, pulled back a little bit from in the pre-market, all the major indexes from the dip yesterday. But they didn't pull back that hard. So I, I think that they're going to continue to, to be flat to down throughout the day. But I do think those three stocks will pull the market back up. And we should uh, finish off the week uh, on a positive note. Again, just the fact that Powell's pushing off the inevitable doesn't really mean much. It caused a little bit of a pullback. But all everyone knows, and the big money knows, that these interest rates are going to drop this year, regardless of our economic condition. Jay Powell wants to get reelected um, in his position. And in order to do that, he's going to have to make Wall Street look very good for Joe Biden uh, come this fall. Again, this is my opinion. You can disagree with me, but this is just common sense. And we all know this is what goes down. So with that being said, I uh, do think that we're going to see interest rates drop start in April and May, and the market knows this. So because of this, we're going to see a pretty quick pullback into bullish mode. Um, again, it might be down a little bit right now, but the institutions are going to look at it as a buying opportunity. Everyone's going to look at this as a buying opportunity. So it's going to be very short-lived. So any positions you guys are in right now feel safe, especially if you're in calls. market's going to pull back. There's no doubt about it. Um, but we'll watch it closely today. So I think, again, today my opinion is, you know, flat to down off the rip. And we'll see how things pan out getting into the afternoon and getting closer to these earnings calls at 4 o'clock. Again, as far as what I've seen so far, I will come back later today with an update. But all the options activity has been significantly on the call side with on the short-term stuff more specifically, which would be directly for the earnings calls on Amazon, Meta, and Apple. So that's what I've seen so far. I will check the activity today. I'll come back with an update because I will be making some decisions myself later today and we will see what happens. But anyway, good luck today. If you have any questions, always drop it in the comments. I'm here to help for free. This is a free channel and I just want to help everyone succeed. So good luck, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. We'll see you later.